Heather, I need to tell you just very quickly, don't be dismayed and don't take anything out of context yet. I, I know that there are some cards here that are, they look bad in nature, but honestly, in the slots that they are in and what they represent, wholeheartedly, something very different than what you might think or what you might see. This is a general reading. We're going to go from your past, current situation, the upcoming near future. And these are three things that Spirit wants you to know. Okay? So we're going to start over here on your past. Events that have recently stopped have left you the Five of Cups very much. A lot of very disturbed emotion, very despondent in how things are going. The recent past has just not been kind to you. The significant experiences, because I know you, I understand, but even the tarot, the Ten of Swords, is very much showing you what has come to an end in your recent past. It's done. It's over. It's not coming back around. In a lot of ways, that's a very good thing. But it's showing the significant experience that you've had has come to an end. The lingering effect from all of this, the Five of Pentacles, and it shows that this is creating a little bit more hardship in your finances. It's leaving you feel out in the cold. Sometimes, unfortunately, that might be very literal in nature. But again, this is the past. This is what is gone. It's done. It's over with. Now, the immediate past thing that has brought you to the here and now, the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is saying you've taken stock in what you know to be worth value in your life. You've taken stock in all of the things that you want to nurture. And this is more material than anything. So what led to current situations has definitely got to go with all of this. But again, past items, they're not coming back around. It's not going to come back and bite you again. But you've taken stock in what you're doing. And there's a sadness there. Okay, so it's time now to nurture, and this is your past that has brought you directly to the current situations, the present, the here and now. And we take a look at your current situation as things are today. The overall current main issue that you're having is trying to temper everything that you're going through, trying to keep things in balance, trying to keep things together the way that you want them to be. Temperance can be a very difficult card to work with at times, and yet it's showing that you're doing so. But this is the main issue, the main oh that you have going on right now. The current state of mind in your emotions the Page of Swords, there are some brand new thoughts, brand new things that have come along. Okay, they've been presented to you, I would tell you, probably even in the last week or a few days. Something new, new thinking coming in. And it's going to be able to lead you going forward. And I'm going to show you how all that's going to play out. But this, this is your current state of mind. Your emotions are all wrapped up in your head and your thought and your thinking because you're thinking an awful lot, trying to keep everything balanced. External influences in your life right now. The Six of Pentacles. And it's difficult because these external influences, you're ready to receive more money. Sometimes it is coming in, but this is an external influence that at times is very difficult to try to control. But this is going to be coming along. This is what you're facing financially right now. Current challenges, believe it or not, 
It's the wheel of fortune. Your current challenge is showing you that it's hard for you to believe in your upcoming destiny sometimes because you are so working so hard trying to keep everything in balance. It's hard to see the destiny and that the world is actually coming along. It's a challenge. It's an obstacle because it creates a little bit of difficulty when these new thoughts or new thinking comes in. But this is your current challenge that you're facing, and it's going to get better. Again, this is just the here and now. Potential opportunities that you have seen come up, you're worried about them. You're giving them an awful lot of thought, okay? But it's emotional thinking. Not so much directly dealing with thinking in your mind. It's the emotional contemplation of things that are being coming up. The opportunities and the positive aspects. They're coming and you're giving them the emotional attention that they need for right now. And again, it goes right back to trying to keep everything balanced in your life. This brings us to the upcoming near future. The immediate near future, what is more than likely getting ready to happen is finding the strength to be able to take the next couple of steps moving forward. You're going to have that strength, that capability to be able to say, I'm going to take command of what's going on and I will have the strength to do so. Potential challenges coming up right now. The two of wands, being able to see the future, being able to plot and plan, trying to look ahead to see what your next steps are going to be, where the balance that you're doing in the current time frame, how is that going to pan out? What is next week, next month going to bring? The future influences, and there are people around you who are going to play a significant role the Three of Cups, that's wholeheartedly talking about emotional celebration. So you have people and events getting ready to happen that are going to help propel you forward. This works hand in hand with the strength. Being able to take that strength and with help of other people around you, you're going to create some things that are absolutely magical in nature. Probable outcome? Believe it or not, the probable outcome is the hangman. It's just leaving things suspended. It doesn't talk about being hung. It's talking about suspending a lot of things that happened in the past. Okay? So as you are working your way forward and you have these people getting ready to help you out, you're going to be able to suspend the pain, the hurt, all of that from the past. You're going to be able to put that just aside and say, I don't need to deal with that today. So that's the outcome that you're going to have, is the hangman. And it's a very good thing because it allows you, once you find your pathway again, to be able to go forward without any problem. The last thing that I want to look at, there are three things that Spirit wants you to know. One, what guidance do they have? This is something that they're trying to guide you and show you. And this wholeheartedly is death. And it's not to say literal death, not at all. This is to say death, sudden change. They want you to get ready and to focus and have the guidance that you need for the sudden changes that are getting ready to take place doesn't have anything to do with death. This is just signifying sudden change in nature. The support that the universe is trying to give you, the Ace of Wands, brand new actions coming. Okay, this is something that you're going to see coming up again in the very near future. New actions that are happening to go along with that sudden change they want you to pay attention to. I find it ironic, but you'll understand. Their warning is to say, change in residence, 
and a little bit of disharmony coming, okay? That's all you have to focus on is just knowing things are going to change. Again, the sudden change in the actions, but finding that next right place and change of residence for you, that's going to be huge. Now, taking a look overall across the entire reading, there's something significant. There are six major arcana that are on the board, okay? And that's telling you that there's an awful lot of power that is in play, has been, but most of it is concentrated between now, the upcoming future, and what Spirit wants you to focus on. Because there's six of them, it's showing that there's a larger dynamic that is happening where events seem beyond your own control. Don't worry about that because it's going to work to your favor. Trust me. When you start seeing these people coming out of nowhere to help you and to help get your life on track the way that you want, and to be able to push away what used to be, it's wholeheartedly going to be so worthwhile. That's your reading for right now, Heather. Take stock in what you're doing. Look for the sudden change, but get ready for the new action that's happening. And I'll look forward to hearing about new residents coming up. Until next time, I hope you have a great couple of months coming up. And I'll see you again soon.